If you're off-roading, you're definitely gonna to wanna to have some side armor like this to protect against rocks, trees, or anything else that you might come across on the trail. And if you've got a lifted Jeep like this one, side steps are a must for getting inside with these, for yourself, for your kids, for whomever's riding with you, as well as accessing anything that you may have up on top on a roof rack like this, or whatever type of setup you're running. The Quadratech QRC side armor with step is the perfect combination of protection and functionality. And today, I'm gonna to show you how I installed this on my 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Don with Driving Everest here. And if it's your first time tuning in, thanks so much for checking it out. So today, we're gonna to be installing these bad boys. These are the Quadratec QRC side armor with steps. And they're not going on Everest, they're actually gonna go on Firefly. This is Vanessa's 2016 JKU. So a handful of months ago, we went up a little bit when we replaced the suspension. And it's currently about two inches or so taller than it used to be. That means we've got a much taller reach to get up in the vehicle. And let's face it, everybody appreciates a little step up. So Quadratec sent these over. We're gonna check them out. I mean, these, these are hefty. These are gonna add some serious armor to the side where there's none already. And it's gonna be a great way for Vanessa and the kids to get up in the Jeep. So the first thing, let's take a look at the hardware. All right, so here's everything that we're gonna to need to put these on. It's pretty minimalistic. And in all reality, if you've got somebody to help you, the installation should only take you about 30 minutes or so. So we've got a small handful of these hex bolts with washers on there. That's gonna go ahead and go into the side of the Jeep. These much larger hex bolts are gonna go up in the underside. And because it is a 2016 JKU, we're not gonna need some of the same hardware that some of the older JKs are gonna require. Now, Quadratech does a great job. They include both sets of hardware, so it doesn't matter which JK model you've got, you've got everything that you need. I've also got my impact driver here with the 13 millimeter for the larger hex bolts and the 10 millimeter with the included Allen key for the smaller ones. You can use a socket set, but let's face it, this is just so much faster. And then as always, Quadratech has these great full color instructions just so you can get an idea of what's going on. This one's so straightforward though. I've just got those on standby just in case I need a quick reference, but I can see how this is gonna go together. So before we get started, let's take a closer look at the actual steps themselves. So this side is gonna be for the passenger and we know that because the larger step is in the front and the smaller step is in the rear. And if you look at the way the doors are, it's gonna match that same footprint there. So over there is our driver's side, the installation is gonna be exactly the same. Now, what you're gonna have and what you can see facing up is you've got those three tabs. Those are gonna go into the bottom. And then if we flip this on its side, you've got two tabs there, two tabs there, and then two tabs in the front with the awesome Quadratech branding right there. It's still got the sticker on it. And that's gonna go right into those points there, into there, and then there's two more right there in the back. So, quick and easy, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're ready to get the first step on, and I'm gonna do it by myself for the purposes of this video, but I'll tell you, it's gonna be a lot easier if you've got somebody to help you out. You're gonna to have to hold this in place while you put these bolts in through the sides. And that's just gonna be so much easier if you've got somebody supporting the far side while you're working on the other. Now for this first step here, we're just gonna use these small hex bolts here. It's got the washers on there and it's got a lock nut. And there's gonna be two here, two here, and then two in the back. So let's go ahead, position this in place and get the first ones in. So not the most comfortable positions here. Obviously a little awkward too, but what this is gonna allow, it's gonna allow me to maneuver this 
into place so I can get that first bolt in. So I'm gonna set my hardware right here with an easy reach. I'm gonna get my first bolt lined up. I'm gonna raise the side step up until I see it go in. I'll grab that hardware. Washer. And then the lock nut. And now we're gonna shimmy down to the back and do it all over again. working our way down. Just put one there in the middle. There's no back to it or anything like that. And then we'll come down here. And the back's gonna line up nicely. Don't even have to hold it up at this point. That first one was holding all of it. And we'll just come through. We'll put all the other ones in. one so now that we've got the six bolts in the side what we've got to do here is one two three of the larger bolts are gonna go up into the actual frame itself and then we'll be able to tighten everything now you probably didn't notice because it was really subtle, but I just, I wiggled that just a hair and it slid, which allowed me to reposition this to screw that in. That's why we don't tighten, that's why we don't tighten everything down at this point. So that one's in. Now we'll take the impact driver. And just like that. It's in, and of course, <laughs> it got stuck on there. All right, so just like we didn't tighten down the other ones, we don't want to tighten that all the way because we may have to wiggle this a little bit to get that bolt started. Once we get them all in, we'll come through and tighten it up. Now that we've got those bottom bolts tightened up, we're gonna take our Allen key in a 10 millimeter socket, and we're gonna tighten these hex bolts. So that's going to do it for the Quadratech QRC side armor with steps. As you can see, this is incredibly solid. There's no play, there's no give at all. It doesn't rattle. It's on there super tight. Has a much more aggressive look to the Jeep, a much more practical application with the Jeep. I mean, I couldn't be happier with the way that these came out. And Vanessa and the girls are gonna absolutely love them.